and then yeah, mid tier, then that's everybody else. Yeah, well, back on PS2 once again, Larry Lurk versus Elegant and uh, not Elegant. Oh my god, I got oh. mixed up again. Yeah. I mean, Larry Lurk definitely has the matchup experience. It's actually been a bit since they played together, and Larry usually goes well towards that matchup, but. It should be interesting because he knows that I think he's been inspecting uh, Tilly Tilly. He knows that that zero death combo usually isn't a threat. Right. And I feel like he just doesn't have to worry about Luigi, you know, coming in because he can just zone him out with the lasers and it forces Luigi to either jump in the air, which Luigi has really good quick aerials out of shield, you know, with that fair and whatnot, but not really good approaching options in the air. What I like from Larry is that he's actually uh, he's jumping and then baiting Chili Chili to do an option, and then closing in knowing which one is safe. Like for example, he'll do jump forward and try to bait out a grab of some sort with these full hops, use laser to bait Chili Chili to go in, like this, like so, even though he's cornering himself, and he just flicks the fireballs and try to find his way in, but Chili Chili, once he gets to the few straight, hits in and gets the Cyclone, thankfully he's able to get out, but grabs the wrong way, that should be a conversion. He waited for it, but missed the option. Unfortunately so, but almost finding that air dodge into the ground, but not going to be able to space out the forward smash properly. He had really good spacing by Larry. Like drifting back with the new, just to make sure that he doesn't get grabbed, knowing that he's at the he's at the percent where this grab can lead into a kill from easily. Right. And he's just perfectly spacing around this Luigi and Chili Chili. Kind of stroking in this one, and look at that perfect bait on that grab. And I love what Fair does, because you think like, oh, it's such a long-lasting move that it can you no know, outlast spot dodges, or it can catch the, the drop from shield with the landing hitbox too. So it is a really hard move to punish sometimes. Yeah, like we saw earlier, before taking the stock, he did the bear on his shield, and then the landing hitbox kicked in, giving Larry enough time to get out of that situation. And thankfully, after the parry, he's able to get off the up smash, but Larry playing it onto life, and he knows that he'd rather to grab out the shield. He just waits for him to go for a bad option. Chill, chill. He didn't even realize he got that grab. Yeah. Ooh, but a quick back air clean calls out the jump from ledge and evens up the stocks right now. But now Larry has to worry. He's at zero, and Falco is a fast faller. Now, what we talked about combos at zero. Falco's got the same one of his own, and mm. remember, he can't get that zero to death. So Larry knows it's like not great. Just needs the DI properly and just kind of mix it up. But Great job by Chili Chili calling out the awesome. Let's get hit with the up tilt into the back air conversion. He does a misfire, but Larry Lurk calls it out. Not dead yet, but. Oh, he's I mean, that was a really great reaction from Larry, like recognizing, oh, shoot, that misfire. I can get a punish off of it, and immediately going for the fair. Oh, great cross up into the conversion. He baited oh. it. Oh, my. I feel like Chili Chili wasn't expecting the DI in, but. Oh, ooh, yeah. You know, Chili Chili kind of like, okay, he's probably going to want to up air me in this percent, so I'm going to uh, down B to break out of it. And then Larry just said, okay, I know you like to down B out of disadvantage, so let me just wait for your landing. And just like, just that, like that. Just as you scripted. And that's a problem, especially in these kind of situations when you're against a veteran player. Oh, they catch on to your patterns fast. Right. And now that he's punished it a couple of times, now he can start going in for those up airs. So now Chili Chili has to like hesitate every time he like, wants to press a down B. Again, you had a great call out on that one with the reverse up smash. Definitely not possible. Larry Lurk, he knows how to close out stocks and chill and chilly. No threat right. this year to death, but see, it only gets minimal. That's the that's like the problem if you don't get these really good conversions, especially right. when you have the option too. But it's I mean, he up. made up enough damage where like it's even. It's even because all he needs is one grab. And Larry, Larry knows that. Look right. how well he's playing around with these platforms. Of using yeah. the fact that he doesn't have that range. Calling out all the aerials, gets away with it. They hit this perfectly spaced now, but Chili Chili always getting closer. Oh, but unfortunately gonna drop shield at the last second. Larry baiting the down option. No! The coin unfortunately messes up Larry's timing on the down air, and so he fast falled it. That is, that is just criminally unfortunate right there. Chili Chili. Stealing that game. He stole that game, robbed it from him. Yikes. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Like, and I somebody somebody needs to change the names on the the screen. I mean, did did I just see Piranha Plant? Yeah. Does no, Larry yeah, yeah, Lur yeah, yeah. have a plant? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he actually money matched Louis Money and lost 3-0 and I lost uh 
ten gift, five gifted subs for that one, so I appreciate that one, Larry. But I think wait, 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 Larry lost with Piranha Plant, or you beat Louis Money with Piranha Plant? Oh uh, no, he lost with Piranha. Plant. Uh. I was about to say, because like, if he beat Louie Money with Piranha Plant, like, oh my god, where has this character been like throughout I the mean, entire existence? Piranha Plant's got some great things. Like, he's able to really ledge trap you, which I think this right. is why he picked this. Mm -hmm. And the poison gas and all these all conversions. Right. And, oh, goodness. But, I mean, I feel like Piranha Plant's probably one of the most like underplayed characters. I feel like there's only one Piranha Plant main, and that's Brood. Yeah, definitely try to get there, and he goes for the grab. Or throws him off, and here comes the ledge guard. And ten Ooh, Ooh. Snide. No, we saw uh, him trying to go for edge guarding on the low recovery with the side B, but you know what? When you have the giant ball of death and spikes right there, why not just throw it out? And in the worst case, like, oh, if I whiff, then you know, I have a perfectly good ledge trap waiting for you when you get back to the stage. Like poison gas covering the roll, great mash out from Chilla Chilla to get away with it. He knew he was going to go for it, and he used the down special, a lot of shield pressure, and uses the up special to actually get himself out of that situation. Yeah. It's just the struggle right now for Chilla Chilla. He's getting spaced out because Prana Plant still has these moves that he can utilize, and now projectiles are in the game. In the world. Right. Ooh, and try going for the stage bike right there, and. Quick oh, down air oh. will clean him out, but you know what? He trades, and that that's a good trade. Yep, that, that's that, a was good. A, that was a DBZ, but yeah. definitely works out for Larry Lur. You know, close out the stock, and sure they're at 0%, but right now, he just pelts them with these moves, and over and over again, Bao Chili Chili is really forced to recover right. super low. Dude, that, that Patui is probably, like, a top three projectile in the entire game. It's so good, right. and look at this. He tries to find a way to run against a grab but only finds one move out of it. No air dodge available. Larry Lur, oh my goodness. Uh, he's trying to end this whole man's stock right here, but all gets a single jab and not going to be able to get anything else off of it. But now he has to worry about uh, getting grabbed again. And oh, oh that's it. <laughs> that's it. He got him. Uh, Didn't get the spike, but Larry Lur, uh, he saw a whole smile. He yeah. Had, you, know, you know he got away with it. But this Prana Plant also, do keep in mind, like you said, Grimly underplayed character. Right. So Chili Chili is not going to be used to this pick at all. Oh, yeah. You know, we see like a lot of characters like, oh, I'm going to approach with an aerial. But then Piranha Plant can say, I have a lingering hitbox right above me. And if you hit me, that hitbox is going to come right, right back down. down to the earth. And also, it's going to hit. Banjo. Yo. Oh, okay. Yo, this Yo, is literally. This the is, counter pick. This is this, pay to win. This yeah. is a pay to win game. This is a pay-to-win game back on Battlefield. Two of these characters. I would say both these characters are heavily underrepresented. Oh, yeah. But I feel like more people play Banjo just because a lot of people, like, have a lot of love for Banjo. So I see more people picking up Banjo and be like, hey, yeah, I can I can play this character. Then, like, who wants to play Piranha Plant, really? Larry. Larry, apparently, but... Yeah, but... And also, there's one thing we had uh, a great... Uh, and their Tear Bear. Tear Bear, yeah. By, yeah. And Rock the Bracket beating out Nico, mm -hmm. securing the top eight spot at that tournament. But do keep in mind, both these players have like really good projectile options. He Ooh. called it out, too. All right. I mean, Banjo, he lives and dies by that side B. And that Fatui from Piranha Plant demands so much respect. And he's trying to play around the grab. I don't like how Chili Chili is going for these early down throws. and. Gets away with it because right. that's the information it gives you, but oh my goodness, look at her chasing him down. Oh, and just grabs him before he can uh, launch out the move. And Quick Fair throws him off stage. He has to use the <gasps> side B to come back, but it gets punished super heavily with that Patui. Uh, American Sniper himself, the plant. Look at that conversion 35% already. Like, that ain't too bad for a plant. Oh, yeah. And the other scary thing about Plant is that he can do so much seal damage with that uh, down B. Oh, he oh. called it. He knew it. Yeah. He knew he wanted to come down directly on top of him. And you know, Patui was right there waiting for him. Here comes the one girl wing. Barely gets back on stage. Almost called it out too, but here comes the down special. Oh, Perry. Right. Perry the Piranha Plant. Perry the Piranha Plant. Perry oh. the Piranha Plant. Okay. Yeah, he Still alive. Yeah, I mean Banjo is a heavyish character, oh, he's but heavy. he's not that heavy. He ain't alive anymore. All right. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Thirty-five. Oh no! <gasps> Yo, Larry. Oh no! Yo, Larry. Oh. Chill. 
You know, I expected him to go for that double dare. Yeah, same. Oh, thankfully the platform gets away with it, but right. oh my goodness. Larry, jab lock as well? Ooh. No way, he's just three stocked him with this plant. Oh my god. You know, I feel like that's one of the few options where like most of the time, like, yeah, his 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 gentleman's is like you don't really see it that much just because like it doesn't do a whole lot of damage and doesn't like kill either. But I forgot that if you're at like that middle-ish percent, you can go into a tech chase situation. And Piranha Plant's fast enough where he can get another jab to get the job lock too. And chill, chill, yeah, I'm, I'm right on that one. That band did look too good. Oh yeah. That you don't feel too good getting three stocked by this character. I have no idea. And I definitely, I'm saying chill, chill, his brain. He's trying to go through the facts, what the yeah. he can possibly get. He's trying to win this matchup in a bigger stage, gives him more room to work with, it gives more space for Larry Lurk to set up. Oh, but there's the grab into lots of damage. Gets the air dodge, but nothing more off of it. But, oh, trying to go for the down air, but unfortunately going to rise a little bit before Piranha Plant gets there. And That's I was, what you're yeah, about. even if you hit Piranha Plant, you know, the Patui just, like, comes right back down and hits you and gets punished for it. And it does a good chunk of damage, too. Yeah, and it does quite a bit of knockback. Trying to snipe him out. He catches the roll. He knows that Chilotry doesn't want to do a neutral get up because he's going to eat that poison. And he's just being forced to roll out or jump away from this legend. Larry Lur is calling it out ever, every single time. Watch, he's going to try to jump away from this legend, knowing that was a working option. But now that it's called out. Oh. I, okay. So I thought, I thought Larry purposely threw it out to try to get the, the bounce from the platform coming Sorry. in. And I, and I was going to say, like, that's yo, you thought. are godlike if you actually plan to use the bounce on that's that. That's I thought. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought was going to happen, but Larry Lurs got trapped on this platform, lands the grab as well into the down throw, into the up air, trying to chase him with that Fatui, but the arc isn't enough. Here comes the grab. Oh, does he finally get something started, but nothing. Nothing is going to be into fruition, only 36%, and that, oh my god, 101, Larry Lur. This plant's a problem. Oh, yeah. And now his shield's at half, but armor's through it. Oh, my god. That down B, it's a really good and a really bad move at the same time. Miss because if you know how to deal with it, then, like, there's nothing to worry about it. Oh! But, ooh, he got him! He got him. He finally got that down there. But, you know, if you don't know how to deal with it, if you're very unfamiliar with the matchup, then you're going to get hit by that move, and you're going to uh, either get your shield broken, or you're going to take a super early stock. That was huge for Chili Chili, though. If he gets a grab conversion with this rage, you can potentially do a lot with it, but Larry Lur. Playing it super safe. Chili Chili just going for this grab, shielding a lot, but lands the jab. That is not safe, my guy. Oh, and that's going to get up thrown. And Prime Plant having one of the stronger up throws in the game. Yeah, he's yep. oh, What are you doing, Chili? Eating all that 3% and beats the pot plant to the face that gets away from the Matui, thankfully, but. Oh my goodness. Oh, he wanted, he wanted to throw out the back air, but Luigi just a little bit faster frame data right there. All right, Tempo, do we see a shield break? I do not see a shield break. The only way you see a shield break is if you condition somebody to stay in shield. And I feel like Luigi has been moving around too much to actually condition that. Shield's looking quite small. Larry Larry might try to go for it soon. But look at that poison gas. He's just camping him out. Because right. I feel like he knows that if he gets grabbed at this for that, he's dead. Oh, no. He opts to go for back throw. Yeah. But there's the down air and then, oh, the back air instead oh, when he, he covered it. Yeah. He he threw out the down air to cover the the immediate grab the ledge option, and then he threw out a back air to cover the high option too. That was really good for Chili Chili. Oh, that was yeah. a really impressive comeback. That spike turned everything. That reverse. Oh, yeah. On that edge guard. And Larry Lair, this plant was working, but I think the bigger space that Talon City have let Chili Chili actually get away with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see. Well, Larry's want to pick him out. Chili Chili's pulling a, pulling a heck of a fight right now. And it's kind of unusual to see as well. It's like right. the character choice and PS2 being chosen out. Does Larry stick with this? Right. Does he stick with this? I mean, he's de it's definitely been doing a lot of work. All right, well, this is game number five. You want to stay on winner's side. Oh, yeah. Pop in right into Pokemon Stadium 2 with these two players. Chilla Chilla immediately going aggressive. He doesn't want to give uh, Larry that room to really maneuver around. He gets the poison gas for a little bit of damage, but here comes the Cyclone and breaks him out of that combo. Ooh, that dash is not going to be punished, but you know what? Only a Nair out of shield. I feel like that could have been way worse. Yeah, 
that's just like, I think that's the name of the game for Chili. He gets these great combos down, he gets the kill confirms, but missed opportunities. Yeah. Like, man, like what we're seeing quite a lot. I feel like we're seeing this a lot just because he doesn't really main Luigi. Oh, if he stuck with a down tilt, he probably could have kept it going, but right. opting go for a down tilt for something else. Nice, uh, nice use to jump to attack, but Larry Lur gets away with it, and there we go, 64% off with that quick low combo with the Patui, and now he has stage control. Oh, manages to avoid the Patui, but okay. no, he don't double jump, yeah. There and we go. That That's the weakness of Luigi. Right. If your double jump is gone, you're you're Garrett. You're you're just dead. There's a smoke screen coming into play. Trying to use that up smash. Gets away with it wrong way. Chili Chili really struggling in this matchup. They both roll in the same direction, but thankfully he lets the up smash rip and Larry Lair loosen the stock from that one, but 65%. This is looking really good for him. Oh, but catches the roll with the grab. Not gonna get anything further because I feel like he just wasn't expecting it. Like I said earlier, missed opportunities, and you yep. can't do that against Larry. Like he feeds off of that. You miss like options like that, and ends with the one-two jab. Right. Now he's got him trapped in the corner with the poison gas out, waiting for an option. That's right. a regrab. Oh yeah, but Larry, I don't think he realized it just because you know usually if you get hit by a move, you get your invincibility back. But I feel like because he got hit by the poison cloud, it uh, it wasn't like an actual like hitbox might move. Have, yeah, might have reset it, but right. It's not the best back here. It's got quite a lot of lag on it, especially when using it in air. But Larry Lair, just playing it patient. He knows that. Chili gets his, his plunger on him. He's going to eat quite a bit of damage. Oh, yeah. And, ooh, that dash attack. You know, that, that's such a risky option because he parried it right there, and that could have easily been a up B if he didn't, like, go all the way through him. Thankfully, no big punish for Larry gets away. Here comes the kill. He has to get it here, but he saw the drift away from him. Great awareness by him. Almost catches him with the back air himself. Does he land the edge guard? Uh, but avoids the plunger to avoid uh, getting further damage. And I like that, just running away, because you know Luigi, he wants that up smash. So as long as you run away further and further, like Luigi's not going to catch you. you just need, and also, do keep in mind, Larry Lair just needs to grab as well to kill him. Mm -hmm. that one. Down smash is just kind of keeping him on us right Ooh, now. Right. And he there we go. Caught the roll with the up. And then there's the up throw. Now, and Larry holds on to this and gets the poison gas. The armor helps him get through it. 13% great reverse up smash. All right. Now Cloud does a lot of damage, but no active hitbox on it. Or no, no like stun, yeah. stunning hitbox no on hit it. Stun. No, no hit stun. stun with that move. Yeah. A little bit of struggle right now. Do you realize this is the last stock, last game situation? Chili Chili trying to get a conversion down. There's the cycle of knowing that Larry Lur likes to dash attack quite a lot with his plan. And here we go. Now both players great are just trying to find their way in. Finally manages to find something, but you know what? It's so hard for both players to get in when they're playing super defensively like this. That's what Larry's got to do in this situation, especially against this Luigi. Oh, All right. great uh, damage coming in. Let's get the Matui down. Chili just even do a really good job maneuvering around that. It gets away from the grab, but eats a fair to the face. He's trying to get back down the oh. lever hitbox. He wanted that dare. He wanted that dare to just end the stock right there, but this is going to be it. Oh, no, he, he doesn't. This is going to be oh, it. My. Oh, my God. Chili, Chili bet it all on that up B. Larry DIing super far away to avoid it at all.